Welcome back. So today is a very important day for the fandom. And why is that? Well, I'll tell you. It's Phil's birthday today. So people around the world are probably celebrating. But um, I'm filming this video because I need to tell you something. This will come as a shock to everyone. And I'm sorry that I've kept this from you for so long. I have a confession. I am Phil. For you click off thinking, wow, he really is a crackhead. Please listen. We both have black hair. We both use glasses. And we both own the same clothing. But unfortunately, that's not all I have to tell you. This face you're seeing right now, it's a mask. My face actually looks like this. Um, but yeah, it's my- this is my real face, and <laughs> this felt very good to get off my chest, and I really hope you can accept me for who I am, the real Phil. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. So, for you guys to get used to me- <laughs> So, in order for you guys to get used to me, I'm gonna be asking a few- answering a few questions. I put out on Edge Beverage, who I know- who I've been going by for a while now, I put out what would you ask the real Phil if you could ask him anything? I'm sure you didn't think he'd be sat right in front of you, did you? And hopefully you can get to know me a bit better. As you can see, very professional. I don't have another electronic device on me, so I've got them written on pieces of paper. Yeah, so that's great. This is like pin off one. Amy XOXO, first question. What's the best way to annoy Daniel? You literally have to breathe around him and he will snap. You literally, you don't have to move, you don't have to, you don't have to do anything and he'll just complain at you for anything you do. Like once, I literally walked into the kitchen and he screeched at me. Probably because he thought I was going to take his cereal, but I'm not, not that much of a thief, I mean, come on. Interactive introvert said, what are the numbers on your credit card? This is the second question. I feel kind of attacked. I it I find it very hypocritical that you all accuse me of being thirsty for money and coin when you're out here asking for my credit card number. And no, I'm not gonna give you my credit card number. Phil's crusty treats. Alright. There's how much is living in London? I'm a broke gal. Living in London is surprisingly expensive for the amount of crime around every corner. I mean, there are some parts of it that are nice, which happen to be the part that we lived in, but that doesn't mean there's no crime, unfortunately. That crime being probably me eventually murdering Dan. You know, he, he says he finds me annoying. How do you think I feel? You know? Look at both sides of the argument here, guys. Lou Hughes, who I totally don't know in real life. How many plants have you killed this week? Wow, Lou, how irresponsible do you think I am? God. Um, bull. Voodoo Dean P says, who's Phil Trash number one? Well, everyone says it's Dan, but obviously it's gonna be me. I am Phil Trash number one. I love myself, guys. Can I have some money, please? Uh, are these all the questions? Are these all the questions? I didn't ask, okay? I asked for questions that you would actually ask me. Would you really go up to me and say, can I have some money? Yeah, you probably would. You know, why, why am I even? Cockafaniel, how is the quiff life treating you? It's actually very great. It feels very cooling in the summer. And Dan doesn't have a quiff, so it's funny when he's dying of heat and I'm just like... <laughs> Dehydrated fan says, when did you get your first houseplant? I really can't remember what my first ever houseplant was because I probably got it when I was like seven. But one thing I can assure you of is that it's definitely dead now. And it was probably dead as soon as I bought it. Lord Lester says, how did your life as a sugar daddy start? Look guys, you'd think this is fun. Dan wouldn't leave me the hell alone. That's how this all started. X.Rachel underscore D says, would you trade Dan for an unlimited supply of cacti? Look, I, again, I would take any opportunity to get rid of him because I was forced into this. Blackwell, silly question. Are you a virgin? You really think that I am a virgin? Look at me. Just, just look at me. Do you really think that the girls would say no to this? Or the boys? Do you really think anyone would say no to this bod? In this face? 
I think not. I mean, come on, I arouse myself sometimes. It's that bad. A fictional life says, how was jail? It was great, honestly. It was great to be away from everything. Dan was such a wuss though, he couldn't stop crying. I was just like, shut the fuck up and he wouldn't stop crying. It was ridiculous. Oh yeah, and I said fuck. You know, branding is that I can't say fuck. I just said it. Oi. Oh my god, I can't get any closer to the camera, that is terrifying. Though jail was good itself, but the mug shots were not great. They were really bad. Tanya12392 says, can you release me from your basement, please? You're so ungrateful, you know. I keep you down there. I give you food and water. I keep you alive. Why are you complaining? But fine, I'll let you out later on. A confused bee says, how does it feel to be someone that has inspired so many people in different ways? I mean, it's it's great, you know? Like, it's great to get that coin. I mean, I mean, lovely people supporting me. Teddy the Beto says, why are you named Phil and not Greg? Because Dan and Greg wasn't as catchy as Dan and Phil, you know, we gotta get that branding coin, you know, it's just, it's just the way it is, I'm sorry guys. Round the trash can, how does one find a Dan in their life? I mean, I don't know, I paid for mine, so. Megan, oh lord, A-S-D-F-G-H-J-K-L, what would you do if YouTube exploded and disappeared? I mean, you could take this two ways. There's one side of it where if it disappeared, I would be free. I would be free from you guys. The downside is you wouldn't get any money. And not gonna lie, I do get a fair amount in my bank. So I need that coin, you know, just, you know. Georgia.rod said, why don't you have a corgi? Well, Georgia, that is such a good question, you know. I'm so glad you brought that up, to be honest. If I didn't have to live in this goddamn apartment, I would have one right now. I would probably have every breed of dog in the universe. I mean, there's nothing stopping me. I have a lot of money, guys. It's just, you know. If I weren't in this goddamn apartment that Dan forced me into, I tried to tell him that we should move into a house, but no. I prefer the old city apartments. Like, what good's that gonna do? I don't know, guys. I'm stuck. This is the real Phil Lester. The real Phil Lester is stuck. Free me. Okay, so that will be all of the questions I'm answering. That felt very good to get off my chest. Thank you for letting me scream out that in anger and torment. And it's great because I'm finally living my truth. As Phil, what will I celebrate with? A lot of alcohol. Powering off. Okay, that was more terrifying than this. That was just my speaker, by the way. Thank you for your support and birthday wishes. I will probably celebrate with many bottles of vodka. How will you celebrate? Leave that in the comments down below. I'd love to see them. I wish you well on this fine day and goodbye. <laughs>